Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to build a garage. Now I did build the first wall because the intro starting fire messed up as usual, so you know, no harm there. But I do have the building plans for this and like just a paint document, so I'll link that in the description if you guys just want to follow that. It's not like really detailed, it's just simple and it's kind of easy to follow. I do it the best I can, but this video I'm going to teach you guys how to build a garage which can fit um, a big truck in and also a small car. Hopefully this will be easy to follow, it's not too hard to build, just simple really. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how to build this first wall here. And you also need a white wood and walnut wood, some glass and four normal glass panes. Um, six small glass panes and uh, 14 glass panes as well as a uh, 60 one slash one times one wedges a bunch of smooth walls posts um, which are white teeny floors etc i'm not sure how many quite a lot of stuff to build it with so um, so i'm going to teach you guys how to build this wall now then go on to the next part okay so the first thing you need to do is go and get a smooth wall blueprint so a 4x8 smooth wall blueprint and then find somewhere where you want the garage to be so i think this is just going to be the best place for me try and zoom in because it's kind of weird my mouse scroll isn't that good and place six smooth walls going along like this until we get to the end let's keep going along that should be okay. Okay, so place six of them going along like that. And then go and get the 4x4 four four short smooth wall. And then place two of them there like that. That should be okay. And then press B. And then go and get the 4x8 smooth wall again. And then place two of them there like that. And then press B. Then go and get the 2x8 smooth wall. And then basically just place 5 along the top like that. Sorry if it's laggy, I don't know how to improve this honestly. For some reason my picture closed, I'm not sure why honestly. Because I've got the recorder open. Just keep placing them until you get to the end. Like that. It should be able to fit perfectly. And then basically you just have to replicate that on the other side, but I wouldn't do that just yet. I would wait until you've done the back wall or the front wall. Okay, so fill this in with white wood. And then you need to place two glass panes in here, normal glass panes as well. And then once you've done that, I'll show you guys how to do the back wall of the garage. Okay, so once you've filled in this side wall, what you need to do next is go and get post blueprint. And then place two posts at the end of the smooth wall, and this will be the back wall. And then place two posts there like that. And then press B. You know, it freezes for like five seconds. It's ridiculous, but go and get a smooth wall. And you buy four one, and then place four of them going along like this until you get there. And then you're going to place two doors. So just place four of them going along like that and then press B and then go and get the door blueprint or you can use glass doors it's up to you and then just place two of them like that rotate so it has the doors facing the right way and then press B and go and get the four by eight smooth wall and then place another four of them going along like that oh, accidentally place that then okay so once you've done that press B again show you guys because I was kind of placing them at a weird angle and then go and get the post blueprint again and then place two at the end like that should be good and then press B and then go and get the 2x8 smooth wall blueprint I accidentally keep saying short smooth wall blueprint for some reason and then place them going along on the top. I'm not sure how many is used for this layer, honestly. I think it's like four or something. But then keep placing them along until you get to the end. And that should be okay. And then finally, go and get a small floor blueprint, smooth wall stub. And then place that at the end like that. And that should be how you do the back wall of the garage now. Um, 
Make sure to fill in all of these kind of walls with white wood. Fill these doors in with walnut wood and then once you've done that I'll show you guys how to do the other side wall and then the front of the garage. Okay so on to the side wall next once you've done them two walls. Go and get a 4x8 smooth wall and make sure to place the smooth wall um, here like at the end of the wall and not in between here because if you do that then it won't be the right size for the roof and everything and then the doors won't connect up as well. So make sure to place it at the end of the back wall like that. Same with this wall, place it here at the end of the back wall like that and not kind of slide inwards. Otherwise it won't be the right size because I kind of made that mistake doing this. So once you've done that, make sure to replicate the side wall by placing um, six smooth walls going along. If you already know how to do that, then just skip ahead until the front side of the garage. So place six smooth walls going along like that. And then go and get a short smooth wall, a 4x4 four four one. And place two of them going along like that. I press B. And then go and get another smooth wall. And then place two of them going along again. And that will be the side wall. And then go and get a 2x8 smooth wall. Rotate it and then place it. Five of them going along like that on the top, going along until you reach the end. Sorry about the lag, I don't know how bad it is today, but do that until you get to the end. And then once you've done that, fill it in with white wood, then I'll show you guys how to do the front of the garage. Okay, so once you've done them two back walls, next we'll be doing the front of the garage. Now I kind of made a miscalculation with the glass, you actually need 12 small glasses, not 6, and also 18 glasses and not 4 of them. I only counted for like one window and not the other one. Okay, anyway, the first thing that you need to do is go and get a smooth wall blueprint, an 8x4, and then just place one there, and then place one at the other side like that, and then press B. And then going a basic door blueprint and then rotate it so the door handle is facing upwards and then place two on the bottom floor like that going along and then just go over here and then do the same thing place two there like that and these will be the garage doors uh, tilt it and then basically do the same thing Make sure the door handle is facing the bottom this time and then place two doors on top like that. And then go to the other side and then do the same thing. I've had to re-record this part like three times now. Because I messed the videos up. Okay, then once you've placed them doors there, press B and then go and get a 2x8 smooth wall. And then rotate it. And then place it in the middle like that. And that will be how you do the front of the garage. And then fill the doors in with brown wood and the walls with white. And then I'll show you guys like how to do this top layer which includes quite a lot of windows. Okay, so fill that in with brown and white wood. Then I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you have filled all of that in, go and get a 2x4 shop smooth wall blueprint. And then place that there and that gap. And then rotate and then go to the other side and then just place another one like that. And then press B and then go and get a small floor blueprint. And then place one on top of this smooth wall there. And then what you need to do next is kind of measure seven studs inwards to go to the middle of the door. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. That should be good, hopefully. I think that's even. I'm gonna do the same at the other side. Measure seven studs from this small floor, like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then press E. And then once you've done that, fill them in with white wood. And then you also need to fill these gaps in here with uh, with three small glass panes each. And then 
two teeny glass panes at the end and basically just do that for each one of them so I'm just going to do one for an example so I'll show you guys how to place it so um, one small glass pane and then basically place it besides these walls here like that on the top and then go and get another one and then do the same thing then place one in there like that and then I'll get another small glass pane and then place another one there should be good and then go get a teeny glass pane and then place one there at the end and then get the final teeny glass pane and then place the final one there like that and then basically just do the same thing for each one of these glass place three small glasses there two teeny glasses at the end and then just do the same thing for each one of these and that should be how you do the windows but in with whitewood then I'll show you guys how to do the roof okay so once you've done the base of the garage make sure to place your like truck and car room before you do the roof otherwise it would be kind of a uh, hard to place them in after you've done the roof so I recommend doing that first and also if you want like a floor for the garage then I would place one down as well before you do the roof so just do any kind of floor just look at just look up garage floor and like google images and copy a design from there I can use like large tiles and just put a base colour down like um, white, that colour or red or something. So I recommend doing that first before you do the roof so a floor and um, placing the cars down you can just leave it like that if you want to. Okay for the roof you'll need the one slash forward blueprint. Okay so go and get that blueprint and then what you need to do first is place um, 10 going down at this side like that so 10 going along here Make sure it's not in here, but it's just like one unit down like this. So it has an overhang. So place 10 going along here, like that, till you reach the end. And if there's 10 going along, then you should have the, the dimensions right of the garage. So just keep doing that till you reach the end of the wall. Like so. If you hear any noise, it's my brother banging around in the background. I'm not sure what he's doing, honestly. Okay, so count to see if there's 10. So there's 10 there and mine. And then do the same at the other side. So place 10 going along. So place 10 more slash forward blueprints going along at the other side. And this will be the overhang of the garage. But along, like so. I've had a faster computer, I'm sure these blueprints would place 10 times faster. I've even had like friends and robots of it about your computer, which I don't understand. And then just do that to the end. And once you place 10 at each side, now what you need to do now is place five one slash four wedges going upwards at both sides to meet the top like this. So that's three, that's four, and that's uh, five. So place five of them going upwards from that wedge. So you'll need six wedges going upwards at each side so it meets in the middle. And then do the same at the other side from here place five going upwards from that wedge like so until you reach the middle and then there should be like a four stood gap if you've done it right hopefully I've done it right okay so if you've done it right there should be a four stood gap there okay so once you place six of these going upwards to make this four stood gap here basically just do the same here for all these other wedges um, Place five more one slash four wedges going upwards at both sides so there'll be 60 wedges in total until you basically reach the middle. Now I'm not going to do this for every single wedge because you kind of get the point but basically just uh, place uh, six layers of 10 going upwards like that on both sides. In fact there'll be 120 wedge blueprints to fill in so that's going to be fun. So yeah, basically just place um, 
five more we're just going to put this side on each one of these and that should be good and then do the same thing on the other side until you get to the middle where there's a four stitch gap and then once you've done that fill all the blueprints in with brown wood and I'll show you guys how to do the middle and then the final part which is filling in this gap here okay so once you've done the roof what you need to do next is fill in this gap here so go and get a 4x8 smooth wall blueprint and then rotate it and then go over here and then basically just slot them down until you reach the end. So you'll probably need to place five of them to reach the end. So keep going across like this and that should be okay. So once you've done that, press B and look we'll see if there's any misplaced ones. So place five smooth wall blueprints going across and then fill it in with brown wood. And then I'll show you guys like how to fill in uh, these parts here. Okay, for the final part, which is kind of filling in this gap here. So go and get a post blueprint and then just slot one in there like that. Then move up one, and then slot a post blueprint in there, in that layer and then go over to the other side and then do the same thing, slot a post blueprint in there like that and then move up one so it slots in there and then go and get a smooth wall blueprint a 2x8 one and then basically slot the 2x8 one in there like that where both the post blueprints are so it covers up that gap and then do the same thing on the other side like this and then press B and then go and get a 4x8 smooth wall blueprint and where this gap here is go and just slide there like that and then press B and then go and get a short smooth wall blueprint a 4x4 one and basically just slot the final one in that gap there <clears throat> that should be how you do the front face of the garage and the fill in the gaps which the roof makes I'm going to show you guys how to do it again on the other side as well okay for the other side go and get a post blueprint again and again basically just slot the post blueprint in that gap there go up one and then slide up there like this then rotate and then slot the post blueprint in there and then go up one and slot that there and then press B and then go and get the 2x8 smooth wall blueprint and then just slot it there like that and then just do it the other side as well basically just replicate in what you did on the front side okay so once you've done that go and get a smooth wall blueprint again a 4x8 one and then just slot that in there and uh, then go and get the final blueprint which is a 4x4 four four short smooth wall blueprint and then finally just slot that in there like that and press B you should have it all filled with blueprints it's hard to show on this side so I'm just going to show it on the other side <laughs> but yeah it should look like that two posts there and there 2x8 smooth wall blueprint between these two posts on each side and then 4x8 smooth wall blueprint there to fill in that gap and then a 4x4 four four shot smooth blueprint to fill in the final gap and then once you've done that fill the rest of it with white wood then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished okay so this is the finished garage uh, don't mind the hoover in the background can't really control that I think it's pretty cool for just a simple garage you can put in a house so I'll just enter the back and this is basically the access point now you have some room at the back if you want to add some kind of storage area here or something but basically what you do is just kind of spawn your car in like that and then you open the doors up now you might have to move the doors for it to drive out this is more in terms of looks and sometimes the doors open weird I don't know why but it's just a problem and you just kind of hop in here so open this door up and then hop in here you should be able to hopefully drive out if you can't then just move one of these doors and just press it E then you should be able to drive out like that and then press B to do that now since my base is a mess I can't really drive my car any further than this I'm just gonna 
jump out and show you guys what the rest of it looks like. So you've got like glass along here which I think is a nice detail. Two windows to see into the garage there. And to go around the back is just basic really. I think it would look good in a house. That's a garage, you've also got smaller car access which will actually drive out of this thing. If your truck gets stuck, basically just kind of press E on one of these doors and move it. And then drive out and then once you've drived out just press B to place it back then that should be fine. You also open these doors and leave them open if you want. I think that's how you make a garage. The last tutorial I'll be doing is making a tennis court. Thanks for watching and bye.